In this example, uh, we're going to consider what's known as a profit function uh, and uh, use that profit function to um, determine the uh, maximum profit from the sales of a um, item. So in this example, we're told that the daily profit, which we're labeling P, for uh, Perry's premium uh, chewing tobacco uh, is given by uh, this uh, function formula. And in this function formula, um, X represents the daily sales for uh, this uh, chewing tobacco uh, measured in hundreds of pounds. And the output here, P, is the uh, daily profit uh, from the sale of the chewing tobacco, uh, and that's measured in hundreds of dollars. And of course, what we want to determine is um, what daily sales amount uh, will lead to the maximum profit. So that's the first question we're asked here. And then, uh, of course, we want to know what is that uh, uh, maximum profit. Um, so in order to answer this question, uh, we want to think about um, uh, this uh, function uh, f, uh, which gives us the uh, daily profit. And notice that this is a quadratic function. Uh, and because it has uh, this characteristic term in it where the input variable is uh, squared. And that's going to be uh, an important clue in allowing us to answer this question about um, uh, what daily sales amount will lead to the maximum daily profit. Uh, because if we think of the, about the graph of this uh, quadratic function, well, we know that the graphs of quadratic functions are parabolas uh, that either open up or down. Uh, since the leading coefficient of this quadratic function uh, is uh, negative 2, that's the coefficient of the x squared term uh, in the formula, uh, then um, we know that this, uh, uh, when we make a graph of this quadratic function, the parabola is going to open down. So if we make a, just a very, very rough sketch of this, um, of this parabola um, on a set of axes here, uh, we know we're going to get a graph that looks very roughly something like uh, this, right? Uh, we're going to get a parabola shape that opens downward. And so the vertex of the parabola, that at that point is where the profit is going to be uh, maximum. So uh, we can uh, find the daily sales amount uh, that leads to this maximum daily profit. That's, um, uh, uh, that's going to be the x coordinate of the vertex. And we can find the maximum daily profit just by finding the y coordinate of the vertex. So this uh, applied example is really uh, just uh, asking us to find the vertex of a quadratic function. That's the information that we can use uh, to answer these questions about the maximum daily profit. So let's see if we can find uh, the vertex of this uh, quadratic function f. All right, let's take a look at the formula again now. So um, we know that uh, uh, one way to find the vertex uh, of a quadratic function is by using what's called the vertex formula. That's not the only way to find the vertex, but that's one way to find the vertex of a quadratic function. And to apply the vertex formula, we need to know the coefficients um, of the formula. So we already know what the leading coefficient here is. The, uh, the coefficient of the x squared term is minus 2. Uh, the b coefficient, that's the coefficient of the x to the first power term. So in this uh, quadratic function, that's going to be 36. And then the constant coefficient, uh, which we usually label c uh, in this quadratic function, that's going to be uh, minus 2. And so uh, those are the pieces of information that we need to apply the vertex formula. And so recall now that the vertex formula tells us uh, that the vertex um, of a uh, parabola of a quadratic function uh, can be found uh, in the following way. The x coordinate of the vertex is going to be uh, minus the b coefficient divided by twice the leading coefficient. Uh, 2a, and then the y coordinate of the vertex is simply going to be found by taking the, the x coordinate of the vertex and uh, inputting it uh, to uh, the function, right? So in other words, we're going to calculate f of minus b over 2a uh, to find the matching uh, y coordinate um, uh, in the vertex. All right, so uh, very easy now to calculate minus b over 2a, correct, right? Because we know what b is and we know what a is. So uh, minus b is going to be minus 36. And then 2a is going to be 2 times a minus 2. So that gives us uh, minus 36 divided by minus 4, uh, which simplifies to uh, positive 9. So uh, the x coordinate of our vertex is going to be positive 9. And now to find the y coordinate of the vertex, all we have to do is calculate f of uh, 9. All right, so let's calculate f of 9 now. Um, 
Got to see the formula again, so let me scroll up a little bit here. So there's our formula. So f of 9 is going to be um, 36 uh, times 9 minus 2 times uh, 9 uh, squared and then minus uh, 22. So let's see if we can carry out uh, these calculations. So 36 times 9, I'm not going to show that calculation uh, on the screen, but um, if I calculate that, and you can follow this calculation uh, with your calculator, 36 times 9, uh, that's going to be 324. And then, of course, uh, 2 times uh, 9 squared, well, 9 squared is 81. 2 times 81 is 162. And then minus uh, 22. So um, when we finish calculating there, um, 324 minus uh, 162 uh, minus uh, 22, uh, we get um, 140. So the y-coordinate of the vertex is 140. Uh, let me take out all of these intermediate calculations now and just uh, write the x and y-coordinates of the vertex. It's 9 uh, is the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate is um, 140. So uh, that's this point here on the graph of this quadratic function, on the graph of this par uh, uh, parabola. Uh, the coordinates of the vertex are 9 and 140. And that tells us then uh, what daily sales amount will lead to the maximum daily profit, right? Uh, it's a uh, X value of 9. In other words, a daily sales amount of uh, 900 pounds that's going to lead to uh, the maximum daily profit. So there's the answer to part A of this question. Uh, on a day when we sell 900 pounds of uh, uh, chewing tobacco, or on a day when Perry sells 900 pounds of chewing tobacco, uh, that's a day when the prox uh, profit is going to be maximized. And it's the y-coordinate of the vertex now that allows us to answer this second question. We can see that the maximum daily profit is going to be um, uh, 140 uh, uh, times $100 because uh, the daily profit is measured in hundreds of dollars. So our maximum daily profit is going to be uh, 140 times $100. Uh, dollars. And, um, I think that works out to be 14,000. So Perry's uh, maximum daily profit is uh, $14,000, and that occurs when uh, 900 pounds of uh, chewing tobacco uh, are sold.